There is one thing in this life that will never change. And that is the realization that everything is continuously changing. The day-to-day -day weather, your relationships, or even your emotions, nothing remains the same. Intellectually, you know change is happening. Yet when the unknown arrives, you might experience feelings of doubt, insecurity, or fear. When you don't embrace change, conditions such as anxiety, depression, and even phobias can manifest. Three and a half years ago, I had an epiphany that would completely change the way I looked at change. On the morning of April 4th, 2016, at 3.37 in the morning, an idea came rushing into my head like a massive bull charging down the narrow streets of Pamplona, Spain. It was a solution to embracing change, and it had been hidden beneath my nose the entire time. The answer is simple, but if you don't apply it in your life, tragic consequences might await you. For example, some of us here can remember driving to our local Blockbuster store to rent the video that came in a blue and white plastic box. When the movie wasn't sold out, we'd stand in line, pay to rent it, then make the drive home back to watch it. Days later, we go back to the same store again just to return it. In the early 2000s, just as the world was changing with the convenience of the internet, startup company Netflix approached Blockbuster offering to sell their company for $50 million. The CEO of Blockbuster, John Antigo, at the time turned down the offer because he felt Netflix was a niche business. Today, Netflix is worth over $150 billion, and Blockbuster has only one niche store in the world. Also in the early 2000s, a cell phone company named BlackBerry at the time was worth around $83 billion. The co-founder fully believed in his product. It was not initially open to the new changing technology of touchscreen phones. The company took years before feeling the pressure to release its BlackBerry Storm. Unfortunately, the phone had many technical issues and was difficult to use. This turned consumers away. On that consumer level, BlackBerry is almost an irrelevant company especially compared to Apple. Now, speaking of Apple, Ronald Wayne was a lesser-known individual who co-founded the company with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in 1976. Wayne designed the company's first logo, an image of Sir Isaac Newton, the man who founded the law of gravity, sitting under an apple tree. After just two weeks of being with the company, he bailed and took back his $800 investment with him. If he had stayed with the company and embraced the new changing technology, he would have close to $95 billion today instead of his current net worth of 300,000. Now, all of you don't have to miss out on multi-million and billion dollar opportunities to feel the pain of not embracing change. Every day you are faced with the challenges of change Sometimes it's the day-to-day, -day, like the weather, your emotions, or your attitudes. Other times, it's life-altering events, such as being fired from a job, losing a loved one, or even having a romantic relationship come to an end. On that morning of April 4th, I was lying in my bed staring up at a dusty ceiling fan slowly spinning around. I couldn't sleep, not only because of how dirty I knew the fan was, but I was distraught, demoralized, and frankly devastated over a heart-wrenching breakup. The woman who I thought I was going to marry and spend my life with was no longer my significant other. Feeling full of doubt, insecurity, and fear at that time, I told myself to let go. And then a few minutes later, I heard a voice and a solution. It was simple and straightforward. The message was, you're feeling overwhelmed, breathe. You're feeling stuck, move. 
the message sounded so clear and beautiful, it felt like Morgan Freeman was narrating the solution. In that moment, I knew exactly what I needed to do. There was a place I could go to learn how to embody this technique. But I would need to step outside my comfort zone and try this weird, strange, crazy thing called yoga. But what is yoga? Is it walking into your local boutique studio with your mat to exercise in a hot, 95 degree environment? Is it traveling to India to meet with a guru who has a beard that's longer than the red carpet at the Oscars? Or is it turning yourself into a pretzel? Technically, that is all yoga. But the real answer goes by all the stereotypical versions of the practice in its simplest modern day Western definition. Yoga means to bind, to create union, to bring together, or the particular version I was reminded about at 3.37 in the morning, one breath, one movement. The answer for you to embrace change has been hidden right beneath your nose this entire time. Literally the space where your breath comes in and out. And just below there is a thing attached to your head called your body. Your body can do more than just carry your big overthinking brain around. Feeling motivated, I decided to attend yoga five days per week. And during my first class, I felt like the tin man, barely able to move. But with each class, I learned how to use my breath to put my body in a number of difficult situations and poses. After a few classes, my mind became clear, my body more relaxed. And these same changes were happening off the mat as well. Simple things like getting my life back together, throwing away old photos of the relationship, changing the residential address on my bank account, or just working through each emotion of the breakup became really easy. Yoga became a tool of healing and empowerment for me. Inspired, I wanted to share this technique with others. I enrolled in a yoga teacher training program graduated, and then soon found myself standing in front of the room, teaching others. As new students arrived, I noticed they were full of physical and mental restlessness. They would fall out of poses, forget to breathe, and always move around in the meditative part of class, known as savasana. However, after a few classes, they began to settle down, hold their ground in poses, and learn how to breathe. They went from saying things like, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible, to, oh, yoga is just linking breath with movement. As time went on, the students made amazing progress. Now, yoga is not woo-woo, hippie-age nonsense. In fact, Research is now proving just how powerful yoga can be. For instance, breathing in and out in through your nose in a yogic practice can reduce levels of a hormone called cortisol. When the body is stressed, cortisol floods your bloodstream, which can cause irritability, fatigue, and weight gain. However, yoga lowers the presence of this hormone, allowing you to feel relaxed and reduce those symptoms. Linking breath with movement has also been shown to affect GABA, a brain neurotransmitter. More studies are finding that when you perform yoga and breathe in and out through your nose, you increase GABA, which decreases blood pressure. And for those of you with a very overactive mind, have trouble sleeping, this fantastic news. Breathing in and out through your nose in yoga affects something called the vagus nerves. Not Las Vegas, but these nerves in your body, when they're stimulated, release a chemical called acetylcholine. When that chemical was released, it sends a message to your body to turn on your parasympathetic nervous system, enabling your body to relax. It takes you out of that fight or flight response. And not only that, 
Yoga is now showing how you can make positive behavioral changes both on and off your mat. A yoga mat is almost your subconscious training ground to reprogram your mind. In a yoga class, you're consciously putting yourself in a number of challenging situations with diff diff difficult balancing postures, fast sequence, and constant change. However, in the class, you begin to train yourself to take action during these difficult times. Instead of feeling stuck, overwhelmed, and not moving, you embody an action-taking behavior. So when the stress on your mat, you respond as well as off your mat. For example, in this moment right now, I am performing yoga. Not the movie you saw earlier, but right now in this present moment, yoga is taking place. Even before coming up to this stage, I had my own feelings of doubt, insecurity, and fear. It's quite a change to go from a yoga studio to then stand on a TEDx stage in front of all you amazing people. However, as I stand here, the only thing getting me through this right now is taking the whole experience, one breath, one movement at a time. Imagine how applying this simple technique could make changes in your own life. It could be something life-altering, like a romantic relationship coming to an end, losing a loved one, or it could be in the day-to-day -day changes, like the weather, your emotions, or your attitude. When you begin to use one breath and one movement, you can navigate these difficult, uneasy times and eventually embrace change. Now, if you're skeptical, don't have the time, or are still unsure of whether yoga is right for you, I have a simple exercise I could share with you the next time you find yourself not embracing change. Stay in your seats, you might sit upright, and then take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. This time even louder and more obnoxious so you can hear your own voice on this YouTube clip. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Ah, there it is. Now, this time, deep breath in through your nose. Seal your lips, make the same sound. In through your nose, out through your nose. As you continue with that breath, a gentle constriction to the back of your throat. It's called an ujjayi breath. A Sanskrit word, which means to be victorious. A victorious breath over your thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Now that you know how to breathe, let's link this breath with movement. With an inhale, turn your palms up. Exhale, turn them down. Inhale, turns them up. Exhale, turns them down. Inhale, reaches your arms up toward the sky. Exhale, brings them down. Inhale, can lift the finger up. Exhale, brings it back down. Believe it or not, this is yoga. You can tell all your family and friends that today you practice the form of yoga. Perform any of these movements the next time you have feelings of doubt, insecurity, or fear of the unknown. Or, Get your butt into a yoga studio and experience the power of the practice. My fellow yogis, you've always had the answer to embracing change. The solution this whole time has been hidden right beneath your nose. Now, all you have to do is link one breath and one movement. Namaste.